Love this. Love it, love it. Pick this up at the bins for a dollar by weight, less than a dollar by weight. I had no idea what it was, but it's Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, an item, a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, share your best January bolo. And I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And if you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I will link it down below. Definitely come and check it out. Um, it's a huge group. But look for the uh, featured post under the announcements where you can come and share a Bolo. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Franklin Hill Ventures. His eBay store is FH Ventures. I will link it down below. He is also on Whatnot as Franklin Hill Ventures. He sold this antique antique singer sewing machine on consignment so his cost of goods was nothing he sold it in one of his antique booths for 175 dollars after booth and consignment fees he profited 95 and this is what it looks like so he has i think multiple antique booths and he's really been hitting what not what not what not hard um doing a really fantastic job over there with ephemera so definitely check him out i am also on whatnot so if you're not following me i'm linked down below come follow me so he is a bolo buddies member which means he has joined memberships to be featured in this video if you would like to be a part of that you can join at level two and that means you're going to get a pop-up of your eBay store or your YouTube channel, and I'm going to link you down in the description, okay? Otherwise, it is an anonymous um, posting, so don't feel like if you share in the Facebook group, you know, it's up to you if you want to share or not, but it is anonymous unless you're a member. Bought these beauties at a private estate sale for a dollar each, sold for $119. Um, it's a vintage mid-century modern atomic Burwood 3D flying geese wall plaque retro usa and this is what it looks like sold for 119.99 that is fantastic he said most or he or she i'm not sure most of the comps were around 75 to 90 for the pair so i priced them high and wish for the best they took two months to sell that's awesome price it high bobbin cases with bobbins got cheap in sewing boxes i sourced through online estate sales they sold fast so this is a nice little bread and butter um i'm gonna pop it up here there's two different examples the first set sold for 16 and the second set sold for 24.99 bobbins did you know about vintage bobbins at an estate sale on saturday <laughs> Oh my goodness. This one's from Jerry. Jerry has the best story, so I'm excited to read this. At an estate sale on Saturday, they re there really wasn't much to choose from, but there were a lot of books on the bookshelves. One of the shelves caught my eye because it was apparent that all of the books were the same series. Turns out that they were all mid-2000 era reprints of the 1950s and 60s comic strip Little Lulu. There was a total of 42 books, paid $20 for everything on the shelf, which included a few more books that weren't Little Lulu. I wasn't real optimistic because the sell-through rate wasn't promising, but like I said, there wasn't much to choose from there. I started listing them in small batches, and with two, within two hours of listing, the same buyer bought two of the lots. I messaged him and told him that I still had many more to list, and would he be interested in any more, and I would make him a bundle deal. He said he would, so I messaged him what I had left. He ended up buying 31 of the books, paying a total of $158.98. I covered the shipping, which was $21.15 media mail. A very nice profit and a quick flip. I still have several lots from this purchase that are waiting, awaiting the right buyers. That's what I say. List it and forget it and wait on the right buyer to come along. All right, awesome. Purchased from another local reseller in a lot of vintage Christmas. Cost of goods was $2.50 and took a best offer of $59. 
I absolutely love these. I have sold these before. They are definitely a bolo. People collect these and look for these. They are vintage Christmas putts, elves, and they're pine cones. They're little pine cones. And they've got chenille um, pipe cleaner arms. If you guys watched the This Is My Bolo video, I talk about my bolo that I sold. This is one of the reasons why people spend big money on that bolo. If you missed that bolo, go check it out. I'm not going to tell you what it is um, and or what I sold it for. It was crazy. So anyway, uh, these are little pixie elves. And this comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. She is a moderator of the Facebook group. And this is her YouTube channel. So go and sub her up. She is fantastic. This one says, this vintage 90s men's L.L. Bean go, go, goes goose down bomber jacket has been on my death pile. I call it a money pile for a while. And I finally listed it. See, it's not a death pile. They listed it. It's a money pile. This is a great example of why you should call it a money pile. I call mine a money mountain. I think I paid around a dollar for it at a church rummage sale and sold it on Poshmark for a best offer of $118 within a week. Buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, I challenge you to go get five items today from your money pile and list them. If you're going to do it, how about if you do it, put challenge accepted and tell me how many items you listed from your money pile. Let's all do that and we can kind of hold everyone accountable, okay? This one here comes from Franklin Hill Ventures also. This was also in his um, antique booth. He said, picked up this 1629 Tyrol map sheet engraved by Andrea's Spangler at a yard sale for 35. Sold it in his Bearden Antique Mall for 240. I love that I can see his booth. I would love to see pictures of his booth. I It'd be so cool if he just did a video showing all of his booths. Wouldn't that be cool? I know he's kind of taken a break from YouTube because he's doing so much on whatnot. This one comes from PNZ. No, not PNZ. What's PNZ? PNZ. What, is that like a radio station? What What is PNZ? It's PNW. PNW Flips. Somebody tell me what PNZ is because I, I'll Google it later or no, I'll forget. Somebody tell me. Uh, paid a whopping 50 cents, if that. Picked these up at an estate sale and they went for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. And they are Sony DVC premium digital cassette brick. Pack of six. Okay, so I'm at the Goodwill Benz. Not, it was a couple days ago. And literally, me and this lady saw these cassettes at the same time. And you know how, like, the bin is, like, so far back? I was, like, reaching for it, reaching for it, and I got one. But, man, she was quick. She had something, and she, like, swiped it all forward, and she, she got them. I only got one. I think she got, like, two or three. But anyway, we both knew they were a bolo. Um, this one comes from Stellar Seller Sam. This is her YouTube channel. She has a new channel and she is incredible. Her editing skills are awesome and she is so fun. Definitely go and subscribe to her. Show her some love. Tell her Bolo Buddies sent you in the comment of her video. This is a Cotopaxi hiking bag sold on eBay within a few weeks of listing. Buyer is all in for $46.96. Costs less than a buck at the Goodwill bins. I purchased this, no, I purchased about 200 art and literature books at an online estate for $400. There were about 100 of them worth selling, so my cost was $4 each. This art book took two months to sell on Etsy for $120 with free shipping. This comes from eBay store, The Bulldog Shop. It's the painting of Hans Holben, the Younger by John Rowland's 1985 first U.S. edition. She said, I find, or somebody else wrote, I find Etsy the best place to sell vintage books. I had some books on Amazon for three years and never got a nibble. She said, I 100% agree with you. I've stopped listing valuable and rare books on Amazon. So they're saying Etsy's the place for um, books. So if you have rare and hard to find vintage books or, that are on eBay, if you get list perfectly, 
you can cross post them from eBay to Etsy. It's super easy. I have a video that shows you eBay to Etsy, but you can also list into the um, list perfectly catalog. I'm telling you, you guys, things that sell on some platforms sell better on other platforms. I start on eBay and cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. The catalog is a fantastic idea. I show you how to do both. There's a video down in the description of, um, there's a link to a video down in the description of this video. And if you click on that, it'll take you over and it'll walk you through the whole process. I'm a visual learner, so um, I just do it for you. I show you how to do it. Um, if you watch that and you decide you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Um, somebody had mentioned that I, I mention List Perfectly too much and um, some other things that I mentioned too much. But I will tell you guys that I'm going to continue to share with you guys things that I use in my business. I really don't share with you a whole bunch of things, but I do share with you the things I use because they help me and I think they would be useful tools for your business. So um, they are referral links. There are links down below for other things that I use that I'm not gonna mention. So definitely check out the description. And if you've already heard it, just click that fast forward through my little spiel. <laughs> because those of you that are new and have not heard it, or maybe you need to hear it more than once before you're finally talked into it. And then you message me and you're like, I am so glad I did this. What was I waiting for? Yes, I do get those messages. All right. This is also from the Bulldog Shop. Through an online estate sale, I bought a box of American Girl doll books and catalogs for $11, making the cost of each about 50 cents. The catalog sold on Etsy for 62 with free shipping. Some of the catalogs sold within days of listing them. This one took six months. It's a vintage Pleasant Company American Girl Spring 1998 doll catalog. Pleasant Company is the vintage, okay? If it says Pleasant Company, look it up. This is also from the Bulldog Shop. She said, I love Balik. And I think I said that right. A longtime maker of fine Perrin china in Ireland. And, all, I, and always look for collections of it at estate sales. I paid $5 for this teapot. It sold for $110 with free shipping on Etsy and took about two months to sell. Having the original box for any breakable adds value to the item. So I always pick up an item with a box higher than other sellers. Oh, I'm sorry. I always price an item with a box higher than other sellers items without a box. Very good tip. And this is what it looks like. And it looks like she's doing awesome over on Etsy. She is Bulldog Vintage Finds over there and the Bulldog Shop on eBay. All right, let's check this one out. Here is another one. I purchased about 50 Disney trading pens at an online auction for $54. So my cost per pen was about a dollar. These are long tail items and I've sold half the pens over the last seven months. This one just sold on eBay for a best offer of 62 plus shipping. So she priced it high and she waited on the right buyer. It's a Disney pen, St. Patrick's 2009 and it's plain and accordion. Digging through a hoarder estate sale, a hoarder house estate sale on the second weekend. Yes, I was there both weekends. Purchased two Ikea bags of items for $40. This was one of the items, a gun-shaped hairdryer. You cock the hammer for the temperature settings and pull the trigger to make it start. I didn't even look it up because it was too awesome to leave there. Sold for full asking price in a month, um, $275. Okay. I feel like I just saw where somebody had this listing taken down for either a policy violation or a Vero. I remember featuring this hairdryer in a video a long time ago. I think it was in my weird bolo items, items that are weird or crazy that have sold. I mean, it was probably a couple years ago. Um, I don't remember it being a uh, policy violation or a Vero then. I don't know if it has something to do with it being the shape of a gun um, he has it holstered, so maybe, it, I, I don't know, but do your research on this before you list it, because I feel like I heard somebody say that in one of my videos, one of the Vero policy violation videos. If it was you, let me know down in the comments, or if anybody has had this removed, let me know, because I'm not 100% sure, but I just want to put that out there just in case. It's definitely a bolo, but you don't want to get your account in trouble either, okay? 
found this cute vintage cat at the Goodwill for $1.99. I just had a feeling it would do well. I listed it on the 8th and sold it on eBay on the 11th for full asking price of $28.95 and they paid shipping. Why am I smiling? Because I love things like this made in Japan. One of my favorite things to sell are little figurines made in Japan. Those are one thing that are breakable that I will pick up and list. I just love them. And there's that word again. Is it kitschki or kitsch, kitsy? Kitsy? I don't know. I can't say it. But this one comes from eBay store found by chance. So cute. Oh my goodness. I would have put that thing on auction or priced it like at $100. It's so cute. But I'm crazy like that. I will price things high sometimes and wait on the right buyer if it's a hard to find item. This was at an estate sale find last summer. I paid six and after about six months, it finally sold for $44.95 and the buyer paid shipping. This was also sold by eBay store found by chance. Vintage mid-century modern Ingrid Chicago party ball picnic camping retro dish set. How cool is that? Found by chance also sold this one. My 11-year-old Azure found this mask at Goodwill for $4.99. This brand of masks had good comps, so she thought she'd give it a try. It got listed on the 22nd for $48.95 and sold on the 24th for a best offer of $46.50 with buyer paying shipping. A very exciting return for an 11-year-old. It is a wall mask, and this is what it looks like. Love this. Love it, love it. Pick this up at the bins for a dollar by weight, less than a dollar by weight. I had no idea what it was, but it said Dr. Seuss on the tag, so I thought it, it would have some value. Turns out it's very rare. Sold, saw three sold on Worth Point in 2022, two of them for $175 and $215, but I believe these were both relisted, so not good comps. The other one was a good sale at $120, so I listed mine for $150. It sat for about two months. And I took an offer of 130. The buyer paid what it looks like. How interesting is that? I've never, ever seen it. It is a Dr. Seuss vintage 2001 Gertrude McFuzz Bluebird stuffed Manhattan toy. Huh. That's pretty fun. Okay. I found this Blinko 611 Cog Decanter at Goodwill for $3.99 last Saturday and listed it tonight. It sold for full price within 15 minutes, $500 plus the buyer paid shipping. Blinko Sea Green Cog Decanter with Stopper. Wayne Houston. This is what it looks like. Wow. 15 minutes, $500. Bucks. Bam. $3.99 at the Goodwill. That's incredible. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Um, definitely check out the whole series. There are like a ton of videos for January. There were so many people that shared. I think over 300 bolos coming your way this month that people sold in January for big money. So uh, stay tuned for the ones that are coming and check back for the ones that have already posted. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite bolo. Leave me an emoji of your favorite emoji. Just put it in the comments. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. This is also found by 